Under the heliocentric theory, the Earth orbits the Sun once every 365.25 days. Since we only have a 365-day calendar, every four years, four times 0.25 equals one day, we have a leap year and add a 29th day to February to make up that one missing day. In those 365.25 days, the Earth is supposed to orbit a full 360 degrees around the Sun. Every six months, the Earth will be 180 degrees in its orbit around the Sun and be opposite the Sun from where it was six months earlier. That means that after six months, the Earth is supposed to have missed one-eighth day of its orbit around the Sun. However, that does not change the fact that under the heliocentric model, 12 noon in New York will progressively move a little less than one degree each day until it arrives during the middle of the dark night opposite the sun after six months. Twelve noon arrives in the middle of the day in New York on our start day on September 22nd. The heliocentric theory requires the Earth to be at the opposite side of the Sun six months later. Consequently, New York will be on the dark side of the Earth facing away from the Sun at 12 noon on March 21st. In New York, therefore, on March 21st, 12 noon should arrive during the middle of the night. Under the heliocentric model, this occurrence should happen year in and year out, every year. We know that in fact, every day, 12 noon arrives in the middle of the day in New York. There has never been a day in the history of New York ever when 12 noon was in the dark of the night. That simple fact proves that the heliocentric model is wrong. Each solar day is precisely 24 hours in length, which under the heliocentric model requires the Earth to rotate exactly 360 degrees on its axis in those 24 hours and end up at the same place. Each day the Earth has traveled a little less than one degree of the 360 degree orbit around the Sun. Celestial navigation is based upon the confirmable fact that the Sun moves 15 degrees each hour. 360 degrees divided by 24 hours equals 15 degrees. Each hour can in turn be broken down to minutes per degrees, 60 minutes divided by 15 degrees equals four minutes per degree. The 360 degree path of the sun over the earth every 24 hours is observable and measurable. They claim the earth rotates 360.986 degrees in 24 hours is 23 hours, 56 minutes, 4.1 seconds. Contrary to the orthodoxy of the heliocentric model, which presents a precise 360 degree rotation of the Earth, their 360.986 degrees contrivance is impeached by the observable reality that the Sun travels a precise 360 degree circuit over the Earth once every 24 hours. They call this shorter day a sidereal day. A sidereal day is supposed to be based upon the length of time which passes between the position of the stars in the night sky. A sidereal day is irrelevant to the movement of the sun. Sidereal literally means, quote, relating to or expressed in relationship to stars or other constellations, close quote. 
A sidereal day is a measure of the movement of the stars. It is pure and simple deception to apply calculations for the movement of the stars to the movement of the sun. University of California at Berkeley states that the Earth spins 360 degrees every 24 hours. Full turn equals 360 degrees. The University of Chicago Department of Astronomy and Astrophysics states the Earth rotates 360 degrees, quote, once every 24 hours. Professor of Astronomy Courtney Seligman states that, quote, to calculate how long it takes for the Earth to rotate through an angle of one degree, we divide the length of the day, 24 hours, or 1,440 minutes, by the 360 degrees it turns through during that rotation, obtaining a rotational speed of four minutes per degree. Annenberg Foundation's Teacher Resource Center, which is affiliated with Colorado State University, states that, quote, each day the Earth rotates once on its axis, which equals 360 degrees. Close quote. 